indentation on the firewall or anything like that. What we can do is we can install the master cylinder line for the, uh, the clutch. And the reason that we can do that is because now that we've removed all the brake stuff, that affords us the room that we need in order to route our master clutch cylinder down to the slave. And we're going to be using a hard line to do that and also a flex line. This one came from Garagistic. This one is meant for an E28, but we're going to adapt it for the E31. All right, as we make our way and understand a little bit more about the clutch system. This car already was a six-speed manual, so it already has a clutch. As you can see, the master cylinder is coming out there, curving around, going through the clamp, and then it goes through the, um, this right here is like a, uh, that's your flex line. And we're going to be replacing that flex line with a Gorogistic 28, <clears throat> E28 rather, uh, flex clutch line, and we're gonna be hooking it up into the slave cylinder underneath the car in the six-speed transmission. So we wanna bring the car up, we wanna take a look to see exactly what we're dealing with, and then we might have to bring the car back down to remove the old flex line and put the new one in. So what we're doing here today, we're going to be taking a look at the slave cylinder and the hard line and the flex line, the stainless steel line that's going to end up going up to the master cylinder for the clutch system. I haven't done anything with this yet. I actually left the whole thing intact without removing anything. I actually kept the system closed because I just wanted to see where everything stretches and moves because if I can just replace with factory parts, then great, then I'll do that. But it doesn't appear that I can do that because of the location of the master, the slave cylinder rather, is a little bit further back than I'd like, and it would stretch the flex line. And I don't know, I feel comfortable with that. So I just need to figure out a way to clamp things in a way that makes the, that, that gives me the, the, the latitude that I need. Now let's take a look. So there's the existing slave cylinder. I accidentally pressed the clutch pedal and protruded it, uh, much like a prolapsing butthole. But yeah, so I got the flex line here. As you can see, this is like really corroded and old. And, uh, and it hooks up up there, like I said earlier. Um, I, now have, I now have access from up above in order to remove this, which I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to see what I can do to, uh, to get this to fit in that location, which is where the existing slave cylinder is. I wanna take that out um, and see if I can actually replace it while the uh, car is still in because <clears throat> It is very important to me to be able to service this stuff while everything is still installed. Uh, I don't want to have to remove the entire drivetrain just to replace a, a clutch slave cylinder. Uh, that would be a stupid design. So I want to uh, I want to remove this. Let's remove this and uh, and move from there. So I'll try to keep this short. This is the existing clutch system. This is my proposed new one. I took the master the slave cylinder out, got my stainless steel line. This here from here over to here is one continuous piece. I want to recreate this bend so that it, it installs in a factory location. That's what I'm going to use this for. And I also want to create at least some sort of a coil here from the slave cylinder to its mounting location of which I'm going to repeat, uh, reuse this bracket as well. The, the reason for this coil is to prevent, because when you, when this thing gets hot and, and cold, cold, it expands and contracts. And this coil allows for that room and, and, uh, the room to expand and contract as as this thing gets cycled and pressurized and everything. So to have this coil in here allows almost like a spring, it allows it to move in and out. So this is actually a good feature to have that I'd like to recreate on this swap.
Good enough. Good enough. It's sitting in there. And there's, I mean, you could always modify it and turn it around too. So it's just not tight enough. That's why I kept everything loose. All right, so this guy's gonna end up getting installed there. Let's take a look at that. All right, so I think I got this thing clocked exactly how I want it, which is basically right up there like that. You see it's gonna stick right down there. And this is a new master cylinder tube that I made that I'm gonna have to install from above, but it's gonna end up looking something like that, right? So this guy is gonna end up getting installed just like that. If I end up having exhaust concerns, then that's just as easy as just mounting it along the floorboard here and then installing it that way, which would be like that. So let's just get it installed, actually. All right, I got it on. I got it installed, and this guy is gonna end up sitting inside of that install, installed grommet just like that, right? This guy will end up getting probably pushed up against here, something like that, I'm thinking, you know? Or, or it might actually just come out like that. I could bend this exactly however I want, which is really convenient. I don't know, you know, I might actually want to bring it up to head like that, you know? And make it come out like that. I might want to modify this. Yeah, I might want to modify it. I might want to bring this connector right here instead of having it like that. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm actually going to cut this off and I'm going to put a new connector right there. Alright, so while the car is coming down, I wanted to take a second to talk to you a little bit about what I did. All I did was shorten this puppy um, because too long is just as bad as too short, right? If it's too long, the flex line is not going to coil correctly, it's going to get in the way of other things. And in this case, I got the driver's side exhaust and that cannot interfere. So I want to make it a little bit shorter so I have a really nice routing scheme for this. But before I uh, finally install this, I want to get this puppy installed from above. And then I'll come back underneath to do the final install and inspection. from underneath <clears throat> you can see where that guy is right there I don't know if I want to do that keep it up above or below this pa battery power line but taking a look at this it's pretty clear that really let's just put it let's put it let's just this is actually still long right see how much longer it is but that's not such a bad thing I mean I'm gonna see if I can bend this guy back a little bit more and give myself a little bit more room. The thing is, I mean, clutch lines are kind of supposed to come down and, ab and above. And since I'm already above, that's why it's longer, which is fine. It's just that uh, I just need to make things a little bit shorter. So let me just modify this coil a little bit and I will get back to you in just a minute. Okay, I think I got it. The coil is coming out of the slave cylinder. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's coming out of the slave cylinder. It's going up to the flex line. The flex line is, is coming up. It needs to be secured here by a couple of grommets, of course, no big deal there. But at least it's coming up and around over and it's going straight into the connector through there and it's going to the master cylinder from there. So everything seems to be in line here. Um, I got a pretty good uh, setup. Everything is loosely installed and that's fine. I'm not going to tighten everything down. I know that I can tighten everything down and that's the important thing, right? Just to know that you can do it. This was a good episode, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. My name is Frank Macaluso from Garageaholic. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Tell your friends, like, comment, do all that stuff on YouTube. It's a great medium for you guys to learn a lot of new skills. Hopefully my channel helps you and teaches you how to do stuff that you didn't already know how to do. Thank you so much, guys, and talk to you soon. Later.